So today's excerpt is from chapter 16, and the name of the chapter is Judgment. Um, this is going to be a short excerpt today, um, but it is a, I feel a powerful one that is that really um, sets sets up the rest of the book as something that I, I feel deeply challenged by um, and causes me great angst and great pain um, trying to figure out what to do that is best for Gidget that would ultimately lead to my having this breakthrough and understanding you know what this journey with Gidget was all about though it's going to take a little bit till we get to that because like I said you know a self-healing journey um, has um, its twists and turns and you know when we're ready to deal with the next part of our psyche and our healing that's when it comes up for healing so this part that I'm going to read for you is um, you know I was pretty sure Gidget had another bladder infection or it just had not completely healed from the one she had just gone through and so I have just taken her back to the vet the veterinarian and I have just given her to the veterinarian technician who takes her to the back um, to um, to see if she indeed does have still have a bladder infection so now I'm sitting alone my mind became a tornado of worry while my body felt numb a few moments later dr. Mary walked out to the waiting area and sat down next to me the technician is getting urine from Gidget right now. We will then send it off to the lab to see what type of bacteria we are dealing with. I nodded in approval. I'm a bit surprised that her infection is back, though it's not uncommon with chronic occurrences for the antibiotic to stop working. We may have to try something stronger depending how the culture comes back. I just nodded again. It seemed I lacked the strength to do anything else. I can see you're exhausted, she said. This surprised me. I thought I was concealing it well. Hesitant but relieved someone noticed, I said, well, actually, yes I am. Barb, I want you to know that no one here would judge you, no matter what decision you'd make for Gidget. I just looked at her, not knowing what she was getting at. You've done 99% more than most of our clients would do. It can take a toll when you're dealing with chronic health issues. I said, I'm not worried anyone here would judge me. After I said it, I knew it wasn't the complete truth. There were times I worried people judged the way I cared for Gidget, especially when, as mentioned earlier, it came to my belief about incorporating holistic modalities. Dr. Benner and the others at the vet didn't always understand my approach, which had often left me feeling frustrated or like I was doing something wrong with regard to Gidget's health. So as I said, this plays a very big part, um, you know, in the shame and the guilt and the repeat pattern that we, you know, have picked up from childhood and that we carry throughout our, our lives. Um, so the next chapter, the next excerpt, excerpt I'm going to read is from Cycle of Confusion, Chapter 17, and that will be tomorrow. See you then.